in there? All right. I'm doing this as a live stream, so we'll see who's on. This is kind of a cool infinity box. That is pretty neat, I have to say. I should tilt it down. Down. Yeah. Look at that. That is pretty cool. This reminds me of at the Broad. They had that, like, infinity room kind of thing. This is really cool. I hope that comes out well on the live stream. So, hey, thank you guys. I appreciate it. All right, take it easy. So those guys were pretty cool. Uh, that was the Infinity Box. People are waving here. It is VidCon, so people are used to cameras being around all the time. All right, I've already been here to World of Dance, so let's go another direction. This is the uh, Lego. Everybody knows Lego. Why does Lego have a booth at VidCon? What does it have to do with video? You'll see me saying that about a lot of things, and you'll probably be saying that about a lot of things yourself. But obviously it appeals to a lot of the kids that are here. There is a uh, unicorn pool that's full of Lego blocks. All right. Okay, over here we have Nerf and uh, Nerf guns, because everybody loves Nerf guns, right? You can't go wrong with Nerf guns. I love Nerf guns, run by Hasbro. All right, so let's go walk beyond this Nerf to the community stage. So it's in this convention center. The convention center has a lot of different rooms. The creator tracks are in smaller rooms, but a lot of the big stages are actually just part of the expo hall. So I'm not sure who is on right now, but you can see in this stage back here, there's big screens set up, there's lots of chairs, and a lot of these sessions kind of take the form of pan. I love that. That is amazing. I'm gonna come up this way to give you a bird's eye view. There's all these different alcoves with different things, smiley. Of course, there's one with the blue like button from Facebook. I love that. That's cool. I'm sure all these people had no idea they were going to end up on YouTube Live, but they had to expect it since they were at a YouTube conference. That's pretty cool. Hey, can I have one of those? Yes. All right, that's cool. So they're handing out these little pop sockets. Uh, VidCon has a lot of swag you can pick up. So if you do come to VidCon, make sure to bring a large bag so you can pick up all the swag. This booth here, Podfest, discover the opportunities of podcasting. It's a booth about a podcast conference. Uh, a lot of you ask where I got my subscribe pillow that you see in my live streams. I got it right here from Throwboy. And as uh, you can see right down here, that's where one of those red uh, subscribe pillows are. I might have to pick up some new pillows this year. They've got the little YouTube play button. That's kind of neat. I love these guys. They're awesome. Uh, here's another booth. Uh, this booth is for Lemonade, Hubert's Lemonade. They seem to be here every year. They really give out free samples of lemonade giveaways. Another booth that I like just because it's yellow. So Cal Seth, thanks for joining in the live stream. Uh, VidCon is in Anaheim this year. That's uh, at the Anaheim Convention Center, which is pretty much right across the street from Disneyland. Uh, here's the front side of the Hubert's Lemonade stand, giving away lemonade. You can see they're giving people little samples of that lemonade. You know, when life gives you lemons, people say, make lemonade. And happy people with the lemonade. Thank you very much. Good deal. All right. So let's go ahead and continue on this way. I uh, am... A company that I see ads on YouTube all the time when I watch is a company called Mevo, right here, Mevo. They make um, live streaming cameras. I'm not live streaming with a Mevo, uh, but they make these little cameras right here that can do a live stream. So, is this chapstick? Yes, it's lip balm. Can, can I have a lip balm? Please take a sticker. All right, uh, cool. We're also giving away a free camera if you're interested. All right, cool. Thank you very much. I'm live streaming your live stream camera, so that's the best way to do it, right? All right, what is this? Unicorn Filmora. It's, and their thing is film your unicorn moment. I'm not really sure what a unicorn moment is. I guess I'd probably have to walk around this booth to find out. But uh, hey, 
I can win some camera. You guys could too if you were here. Want to know how to do that? Let's see, what's it say? I don't know. That's blurry. It's too hard to read. But I've got some yellow chapstick. That's cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, this booth has a lot of girls wearing unicorn horns. That's pretty cool. Uh, SoCal Seth uh, is not a fan of Hubert's. He says, Hubert's is bad. Hot dog on a stick is better. Yes, you're right. I think hot dog on a stick is better. Hot dog on a stick is generally fresh squeezed, right? And Hubert's is in a bottle. Uh, what do we have here? This is the Adobe booth. Obviously, a lot of people use Adobe to edit videos, edit pictures. I do all my thumbnails in Adobe Photoshop. They've got a session up in the creator track about how to use Adobe Creative Cloud to make videos. So there's somebody here showing off what looks to be maybe Adobe Premiere? No, Project Rush. Create and share online videos, fast and easy. Next to Adobe is DJI, one of the famous makers of drones. And uh, they've got on this little table some of their latest drones. There's a whole bunch of drones right there. And then in this little netted area, there's somebody, well, you'd think he's flying a drone. Right now he is looking at it landed on the floor. That drone was flying earlier, I tell you. And uh, kind of the neat thing about walking by this DJI booth is I'm actually using a DJI Osmo Mobile 2 to shoot this live stream. And I'd show it to you except it's in my hand, but I can show it to you here in person because they've got right here the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It's a camera, not a camera, but a cell phone gimbal. You put your cell phone in it and it keeps it stabilized. And actually, you can see me kind of reflected in this one. So this is what this thing that I'm holding kind of looks like right here. And I guess this is one that they've added kind of like a feet attachment to it. Uh, they've also got the Ronin S, which is their large gimbal. This one, and those lights are too bright back there. The Ronin S, it's a gimbal for DSLR cameras. Uh, that one just came out. That looks pretty neat. And uh, if you want to see one of their more top of the line quadcopters, drones, yeah. that one is pretty impressive. Let's see. Does it have a model number on it? No, but that just, that's the DJI hmm, Zen Muse 7. I don't know. Looks cool. I've not yet got into the whole drone thing. So what do we got back here? Snap to unlock. Custom Snapchat filter, know your work, find your voice, spread love. These are like magnets in that drawer piece. And I guess you can add this to the wall. And I can say, peace, be alive. Because if we all make peace, then we'll all be alive, right? Good. Let's see, this is the Disney Dorables. Like, they're adorable, but what makes them adore? Huh, let's see. Let's look at these little items here. Disney Dorables, behind every door, a surprise is in store. So I guess when you buy these things, um, they come in a door package, and uh, it's a guess how many are inside. All right, there was a question of if I have a Snapchat. I do not use Snapchat. And uh, yes, I did get a DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Actually, the primary reason why I got this was to do my next uh, San Diego Comic Con live stream, which is coming up in July. Uh, but I wanted to give it a trial run, so that's what I'm doing here at VidCon, seeing how this works. So I guess you guys can tell me, does this video look fairly stable? Um, what are they doing here? Alita Battle Angel. I think they're giving people temporary tattoos to look like a battle angel. I'm probably going to pass on that. I do not need any tattoos. Uh, one of the things they've implemented at VidCon uh, are these RFID wrist bracelets. So they put this on you when you get into the conference and you basically have to wear this bracelet around the whole three days because uh, you have to like scan in and scan out. Kind of annoying. A booth that seems to have nobody uh, is the Skype booth. I think maybe they haven't really figured out what they're doing yet, but that looks like a space that's empty. Skype for content creators. 
Did you know you can record your Skype calls and uh, send them to YouTube? Buddy, can I have one of these things here? Cool, thank you. All right, it's a Skype pop socket. Apparently this is the thing, and I'll, I'll be collecting a whole bunch of these as I walk around. Wow, this is, you know, in, in the world of things that I would never think would be a VidCon is Serta, Serta mattresses. This is the Serta mattress booth. Now, I will say that it's pretty cool that they've made this giant bed and they've got all of these sheep uh, that you can play with, you can fight with them, you can take pictures. That's hilarious. Hey, United Airlines, you know, for those of you who watch my travel a lot, you'll know I'm a big fan of United Airlines. Well, I don't know if fan is the right word, but I am a million miler on United Airlines. And uh, what are they doing here? This is a, a snow globe. So I guess you put on some hats and you stand in front of the snow globe and then they take your picture over here with the picture box. Actually, it's probably a video so that you can share that video. You can pick up some snow and then when you're done, you can get one of these things that kind of looks like this. Right, like a little boomerang in a snow globe. There are a lot of these here because, you know, people who are on social media really love themselves. And what's better than just a still image selfie than actually a video? There's another little selfie booth over there. Uh, this place is selling some hoodies and some t-shirts. Uh, let's check this out. This is one of the Expo Hall lounges where they've got some large inflatable flamingos, some large inflatable swans, some bean bags a unicorn, they've got some footstools that are like kiwi fruit, you can play connect four, and uh, wow, there's a really long line here for this. This is fruit gushers, which I'm going to assume is some kind of candy. Let's go up to the front and see what they're doing. There's some hand dryers, because I guess your hands wet. Um, let's see here. What are we doing? Ooh, so she's gonna put her hand in there. What happens when her hand's in there? Maybe it's gonna come out in a lot of different colors. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Hey, that's really neat. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I love it. All right, so now you know what they do at the Fruit Gushers booth. All right, let's go back. Uh, this little booth right here seems really cool and uh, illuminated. I don't know what it is, but that just looks like a really neat place to hang out in that little pod with these light up hot air balloons. And they've got this, they've got this really cool contraption right here to do like sliding GoPro type videos. Oh, I guess they're gonna like look like they're in a hot air balloon probably when they're done with that video. This is of course the GoPro booth. This would only be better if I was probably shooting this with the GoPro. Uh, but what's this? The GoPro Fusion, which uh, looks to be GoPro's 360 degree camera. Uh, they're also showing out the GoPro Hero 6. And they've got some exclusive VidCon offer. I don't know what it is. I'll have to come out and see what that exclusive VidCon offer is. Okay, this booth is really illuminated. Aha! This is the Instagram television booth. One of the big announcements this year, VidCon, and for those of you, if you watched my um, USA Today preview that they did on VidCon, Instagram is rolling out Instagram TV, so you can upload videos that are longer than a minute. Uh, you can upload, I think, up to an hour on Instagram TV, and they're all videos that are going to be in kind of the portrait mode, uh, which is sort of the general Instagram format. Uh, pop socket, awesome. Thank you very much. All right, this is now my third pop socket. I'll see how many pop sockets I can collect walking around this floor. All right, that's the Instagram booth. And as you'll see, I'm not the only one with a camera. There are lots of cameras around here. This guy's got a cell phone with a camera decal on it. This guy's got a much more impressive 
rig that I do. Alright, so back here, one of the biggest booths is Nickelodeon. I think it's kind of funny for Nickelodeon to be here, right, as like a cable television channel to be a VidCon, the conference of online video, because I feel like online video is almost the opposite of cable television. Uh, it is really loud in the Nickelodeon booth, so I'm not sure that I'm going to spend a lot of time going into it. I'll go in just a little bit. Mira says his dad has a GoPro. Excellent, Mira. What kind does he have? And yes, yeah, SoCal Set says you can never have enough pop sockets, and apparently not. Uh, so they have some like challenge that you can do here. I'm sure you can't hear me at all anymore because of this very loud DJ guy. So I'm exiting the Nickelodeon booth due to me not wanting to go deaf and lose my voice from yelling. All right, so so far where we walked, where I started, I started down there. That's where the MTV booth was. We've gone through. Oh, I don't know, maybe two-thirds of the hall. So let's go ahead and check out what's in this other section over here. Uh, if anybody has any questions or things you want me to find or look at in more detail, let me know. I'll be happy to zoom in on that a little more or swing back by something. Go find some people. I've been, I don't know what they look like, so that might be slightly hard. Uh, we're sort of going in this intermediate area between two expo halls. The place that sells ice cream here. There's someone with green hair. I love the green hair. Uh, there's a guy with a beret. You know, it's interesting fashion to look at the people that come to VidCon. Probably unlike me, you know, for those of you who know me a lot, right? I am, I am not that fashionable. I'm wearing my typical yellow shirt. Uh, so if you are a VidCon and you're looking for me, just look for the guy in the yellow shirt. I love people who wave the cameras. And I mean that to the deepest of my heart. I'm not sarcastic. This is Axe Deodorant. There's an Axe Deodorant booth. And there's the Axe Gold Mobile. Like an RV for deodorant that I guess you can go into. Uh, you get a haircut. That's interesting. I'm not sure that I'm going to get a haircut. And there's a video booth they have back here for doing some sort of a dance routine. You will see impressive video setups at VidCon since it is VidCon. Back here is another stage. This is the spotlight stage. The six people up there. They're talking about some guy by the name of Ray. Ooh, that's good. I thought I would see it. Yeah, that would be my favorite game. You don't like it? And over here is the eSports Arena, sponsored by Walmart. Uh, SoCal Sets says if you're in Anaheim, you've got to go to Slater's 5050. I agree, SoCal says Slater's 5050 is good. Their first location was in Huntington Beach. They've got another one in San Diego. I like their peanut butter and jelly uh, hamburgers, which are pretty good. Richard says all that equipment is foreign to Grandpa Richard. That equipment is fancy. It is definitely new school. Uh, this is definitely a big eSports arena for all gamers. This is a really impressive booth, I have to say, which actually looks like a big truck that they just sort of open up the big truck. And uh, here they're advertising headphones. And keyboards. And mice. I like this keyboard. It has all these different LED lights on it. That's cool. That's really neat. You can keep typing. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Miris, thank you for the good video. Aztec Warrior, hello. SoCal says it's or the original Wahoos is in Huntington Beach, too. I've been by that one, but I haven't eaten at it. Uh, I think their second location was in... La Jolla in San Diego. So I've actually been a fairly regular at that Wahoo's down in San Diego in La Jolla. Uh, okay, over here, this section, 
These are, I guess, booths for various YouTubers. Megan Batoon, she's a famous YouTuber. Um, so I guess if you have a YouTuber that you want to buy merchandise from, you can pick that up at some of these booths. It does sound a little bit like a cheer camp. Um, the Merrill Twins. Someone said, show me the Merrill Twins. How about the, the Sugar Boogers? This is the Sugar Booger booth. Lemons for leukemia? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about Lemons for leukemia. Lemons for leukemia, we create awareness. We get people to sign up for the registry for patients with leukemia or blood cancers. What you do is you, you fill out uh, the paperwork two times a month, get on the registry to potentially be a donor to save some of my lives in the bone marrow transplant. Good deal. So we need to spread awareness for that. You're a creator, yeah. so come create, get out here, help us save a life. If you're between the ages of 18 and 44 and you love humans, Come out here and get the information. Good deal. All right. I'll be back later. I'm doing a live stream, so I'm gonna keep going. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. There you go. Lemons for leukemia. If you guys are here, definitely sign up to help out the folks with leukemia. What is this? The odd ones out. You know, there are so many YouTube channels that uh, obviously I don't even know all of them. Um. Rainbow hoodies. They're selling rainbow hoodies. This is a cool looking hoodie right here. The Chonga Girls. Hey, somebody said they wanted to find the Merrill Twins. I found the Merrill Twins booth. Though the Merrill Twins are not here. But the Merrill Twin booth is here. There we go. Your favorite YouTubers. I'm sure they will be here. That's what their cardboard cutouts look like. Maybe, uh, you know, since I can't actually find them, but I can take the selfie. I will say they are not very tall, those male twins. I assume these are life-size. Uh, Jaden Animations, Stacy Plays, Alex Wasabi, he's a little bit taller. Alright, now let's go down the other way of these, uh, famous YouTuber aisle. This one's not a channel, but it looks like cosmetics. All right, I'm going down to the next aisle. There is a, this is like the aisle of a line. You know, obviously I do these every year for San Diego Comic Con, and people joke that San Diego Comic Con is called Line Con because there's lots of lines. But every year, VidCon gets more and more people, and there's definitely longer and longer lines. This line is for splits. Crazy good creators. Pop-Tarts? Tap and play? It's a game to play Pop-Tarts? And you play that game, and then you get in this second line. You know, lines always make me wonder, like, why people stand in them. It's like, what do you get at the end of that line? So, they stand in that line, and then they get a Pop-Tarts machine. All right, with a really happy guy. Good deal. They get a good smile when they get to the end of that line. I don't know. That was broken, so I don't know what people get. This is the extra booth. Full screen movie nights. Maybe this is for the full screen network. Extra, extra, extra. Mythical, right here, your appearances. And if you know those famous YouTubers, you come out and find them. Um, what's behind the Mythical booth? Uh, let's walk through this one, just because this booth looks kind of cool. As does that guy with the blue hair. He looks pretty cool too. This booth has a whole... It's a charger. Oh, can I take this? No, you have to follow us on either Twitter or Instagram and then I can give you one. Oh, all right, I'll do that later. How about you're just on a live stream with 30 people on it? Is that awesome. good enough? We're yeah. here uh, promoting Darkest Live. It's a movie that comes out August 3rd. Yeah. It's about kids with uh, superpowers. All right. Yeah. Good deal. Thanks. 
There you go. So you get one of those chargers, I have to tweet them. But I think I have enough travel chargers, actually, so I'm good. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is cereal. Yeah, so Calset says ping pong. Yes, they had a ping pong thing. VidCon parties. You know, I'm not a huge party person, really, so I don't know that I'll be going to a lot of parties. <laughs> These are cool cereal things. I guess you can take pictures in. And, uh, oh, wow. So they've got, like, the the air boxes that you can go in and put the cereal in your mouth and <laughs> get a video of the wind blowing you. Uh, let's see. Dark Hound says, how much are the tickets or whatever in VidCon? So there's like three tiers of tickets. There's um, community tickets, creator tickets, and industry tickets. I have the creator ticket, and the creator ticket, which looks like this, the creator ticket gets you into this expo hall, and it gets you in the creator track. The creator ticket for three days was about, I think $150. I think the community ones are about 70, and the industry ones are like up in the $1,000 range, so they get pretty expensive. Um, Matt2112 says, too bad many creators get banned from this event for being too popular. Well, maybe they just get banned from like, walking around and drawing too much attention. I could see that, because it has been pretty busy. Um, Dark Hound says, how about Ninja? Is Will Daskovich there? Jack's films. I have not seen any of them yet, but that doesn't mean that they aren't. Clickbait. What is clickbait? Clickbait originally what it means is like the, something that you put on your yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah, But so this is David Dobrik's line. Okay, yeah, right so on. he does a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Awesome I like it. Premium stuff. All right, good deal. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, you can pick up your clickbait t-shirts. Uh-oh, they're doing the Macarena over here. I'm going to be quiet because it's really loud while we watch this. There we go. There's the Macarena. Um, Dark Hound says, uh, this video is dope. I feel like I'm in VidCon. That's great, Dark Hound. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Lightfoot says they're dancing on it. What is this 1990 time machine? It must be the 1990 time machine right there. I just think they do things to get people in their booths to then promote their brand whatever it may be. All right, so that's pretty much the length of the exhibit hall. I'm gonna just walk back to where I started because there's something on the other side of the MTV booth to take a look at. And uh, I'm gonna, not gonna go down this aisle anymore because this aisle's really loud because of the Nickelodeon booth. Go to the Crystal booth. It is 6.07 or something. Okay. Um, I'll go to the Crystal Wolf booth, 607, if you think that's what it is, which is probably near where I was just a moment ago, but we haven't kind of walked down the front aisle, so we'll do that. This is in real life merchandise. Orbeez, Wow World. Something to take your photo with. What is this? Lost Kitties. Who's hiding inside? Oh, the kitties are lost. 
We have to help the kitties find a home. We don't want the kitties lost. Oh, the pie face cannon. That just sounds cool. I think you can get in here and you can shoot a pie at your face with the cannon. That's awesome. Oh, and here's a big pie face cannon. I like this. All right. Let's let's watch this. This looks cool. Suspense. She got a pie in her face. Uh, Dark Hound says, is it hot? Um, you know, the temperature isn't that hot today in Anaheim. Maybe it's 80 degrees at the moment. It's nice and air conditioned inside, so that's good. Um, Aztec Warrior says, love your Japan videos. Aztec Warrior, thank you very much. Appreciate the kind words. And so Cal Seth says, now I've seen everything. Yes, Seth, now you have seen everything. You've seen the pie face cannon. Be kind, be loyal, be a Klondike. Which is a little white dog, it looks like. Light Switch asks, do you plan on making more Taiwan videos? Uh, if I go to Taiwan again, I absolutely will make some more Taiwan videos. When that will be, I am not sure. All right, so I'm walking back to this uh, 600. That's 400. Okay, I passed it. So let's see. The request was for me to go to... Aha, that's where I'm going. Lights. That's Jack Films. Klondike is his dog. Oh, very good. So you can take a you can take a selfie in front of the Jack Films poster. Good deal. All right, Crystal Wolf Booth. All right, here, Gumus Gaming is the Crystal Wolf Booth. Da, 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 da. Let's see, what have they got at the Crystal Wolf booth? They have some crystals, they have some shirts, uh, they have pink shirts with the Crystal Wolf, they have and sweaters. They've also got some pins, things like that, and of course, they have pop sockets. Yes, they have pop sockets. Their pop sockets are not free. So I do not think I will be collecting one of their pop sockets. So this is like uh, makeup that you can, I mean, it almost looks like ice tears or something like that. Interesting. All right, that's the Crystal Wolf boot. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way so we can see what was on the other side of the MTV Cribs video. G. Wilmwood says, did you create any content about your neighbors to the north, Canada? You know, I've not been to Canada that many times. Uh, I've been a couple times, but it was always for short trips or maybe before I've been doing this channel. Since I've been doing this channel, I haven't been there. So uh, I'm probably remiss in doing uh, Canadian videos. I've got like one video to our neighbor to the south in New Mexico uh, that was at Cabo San Lucas. Question, when did VidCon start? This is the ninth annual VidCon. So it started nine years ago. Uh, the main ones here in Anaheim, uh, but they also sort of franchise them. I think they do one in Europe and they've been doing one in Australia as well. This is uh, like Candy Town or something like that. It's kind of cool.
What's this booth? You now. I don't know what you now is. I'm guessing it's a live streaming app. Is you now a live streaming app? Yeah, we're live app. Oh, good. On YouTube, right? I'm actually live streaming right now. Oh, cool. What, uh, what platform? On YouTube. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, so how's you now different than YouTube live streaming? Um, I have a mobile app and a desktop app. Okay. Like, yeah, so, uh, it's more robust, like platform type of like features. Uh, you can do guest podcasting, you can bring up people on the screen. Interesting. Uh, and uh, you can share, you can share your desktop. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, 50,000. Oh, yeah. Can I see your channel? Uh, can you see my channel? It's called Yellow Productions. Okay, that makes sense. It's right here on my shirt. Uh, we also have an integration with YouTube that allows you to share your podcast with your channel. Okay. So if you like your specific audience, yeah. if you like them, you can go live with me now and share it to all the platforms at the same time. Uh, Cool. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to subscribe to you. Okay, good deal. Right there. Yeah, that's me. Oh, you can watch the live stream from you right now, too. Yeah, there we go. Good deal. Right. All right, cool. All right, man. Are you guys giving away the t shirts by any chance? We did a little bit. We're going to merch giveaway in a couple hours. All right, I'll be back for that. Okay. All right, thanks. Let's see. Over here. One of my favorite companies, B&H Video. I buy a lot of my camera gear from B&H. There's right there. SoCal Seth says, look at you networking. I'm always looking at better ways to do live streams. So, uh, yeah. But B&H, this is another one. Check out, I mean, this is like lots of camera gear right here. This is a really cool, I like this thing, whatever it is. Like this light here that has a camera on it. That's pretty neat. Lots of tripods, lots of microphones. I'm having video equipment envy right now. Um, another company that I really like, I missed these going around before, is uh, Rode, Rode Microphones. They're a microphone brand from Australia. I will say they make pretty good microphones. Let's see. I think they're setting up for some guy with a band here. They're giving away some t-shirts. Well, there we go. That was an easy t-shirt. This is a large. I hope this one uh, hope this one actually fits me. Um, SoCal says this road is great. Road is great. Miris, uh, thanks for telling everybody I equal a legend traveling videos. I appreciate the love. I enjoy it. by the unicorns again. Animal Jam, Dire Wolves versus Sabertooth back behind Filmora. There's someone singing really awful karaoke. I mean, I should not talk crap about people singing because I can't sing worth a crap, but that's why I just, I just don't. That's my, that's my defense. Oh, over here, this booth is interesting. This is the Genius Kitchen. And uh, they're making all sorts of really interesting cakes, like the pool party ice cream cake. And they're sort of doing some demonstration kind of things. This looks like uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream. Yeah, so fresh made ice cream with liquid nitrogen. Popcorn, oh. Popcorn made with liquid nitrogen? Interesting. Okay, hey. And there's the uh, 
the popcorn made with liquid nitrogen. I'm not really sure how that works. I guess if you cool it down enough, it pops. Huh. That, that is genius. I have to say that is genius. I mean, it is the genius kitchen after all, so that would be genius. Here are the people that are in the line for popcorn. Cal Seth says, sometimes bad karaoke is the best. I think bad karaoke maybe gets better if you have more alcohol in yourself, then maybe you don't notice that it's quite as bad. Uh, I, if I'm doing karaoke, I will only karaoke to uh, Snoop Dogg. That is what I will karaoke to, because nobody can really take me seriously trying to karaoke to Snoop Dogg, and uh, so that's, that's all good. Right, you don't actually have to have um, like a tune or anything to do Snoop Dogg. All right, so this is kind of the last area that we're gonna check out. This is the last part of the hall. And if we go full circle, I started at that MTV booth right there, standing up on top of that little thing. So we've walked our way down that way. Oh, my, <coughs> my uh, DI thing's getting in the way of my camera. Get out of the way. And yes, this is a big empty space, but it's on the way to this, like, inflatable thing? Uh, that looks like an inflatable obstacle course or something like that, which has some flags that say, hold my shoes. The world is your playground, hold my shoes. So this is kind of fun. I am guessing that there's probably some like age limitation and somehow I'm either too old or too heavy because that's how these things usually work out, but actually not. I see, uh, I see a grown man there going through this. That looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a 10 year old's dream. It looks like my dream too and I just must be a 10 year old at heart. Apparently you can get stuck going through these things. Wow, this is cool. I've never seen an inflatable obstacle course that is quite as big as this one. This one is huge. Miris, you're 10, so is this your dream? Do you love this? Would you like to go on this? I mean, I'd like to go on this. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. I just heard somebody talking about my gimbal. He said, he's got one of those gimbals, and I want one. Well, the good news is uh, there's a DJI booth here, so you can totally check them out. Of course, he's not listening to me because he already passed me. This is quite a long line to do this obstacle course. So in that case, I'm not sure that I will. I'm not sure that I want to stand in that line. That is, that is pretty epic. And uh, let's check out their inflatable house at the end and see what's in that. Wow, that was loud. Yes, this is definitely the empty area back here. All right, and uh, I guess this is just where they would hold your stuff. Mira says, Chris, do you laser tag? You know, I have played laser tag. There's a few cool laser tag places uh, around San Diego and Orange County. There's one called Ultra Zone that I like to go to, uh, but I have not been there in quite a long time. So Cal says that does look like a lot of exercise. Yeah, which is probably not what most people had planned coming to VidCon. And uh, all right, well, I'm going to turn this camera oh, around one bit here. And uh, I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I'll wrap it up right at the finish line. It calls itself the world's largest inflatable obstacle course. This is cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. For everybody who joined into the live stream, thanks for joining in. Many of you were here from the beginning to the end, particularly Seth and Mira, so thanks for being on so long. 
Uh, thanks everybody else for watching. If this was your first time here, well, make sure to subscribe for new, fun, informative, entertaining travel videos every week. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram. Uh, and if you're at VidCon this weekend, look for the guy in the yellow shirt. He'll find me around. All right. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Muris. Thanks, Matt. And uh, the rest of you out there. All right. Peace.